Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks a Pack. Today we've got a Kaldheim set booster. Kaldheim is, as of this filming, the most current, the most recent standard legal set. It's based on Norse mythology. And a set booster is, if, you've, if you're not uh, up to speed on things, they used to have draft boosters. They still do have draft boosters. But uh, they now have draft boosters and what's called a set booster, which has slightly different contents. Uh, it has somewhat fewer cards than a draft booster. It has 12 cards as opposed to 15. But there is a higher chance of rares because Wizards R&D Research Department uh, did some research and found out most people just like opening packs just to see what the rare is. So they made a pro and they don't draft it or play any limited format with it. They just, a lot of people just want to see what the rare in the pack is going to be. So they made a product that, uh, gives you an opportunity for the rare and actually multiple rares, but, uh, the, the basically a set booster gives the kind of people who just like cracking packs like me, uh, they give those people uh, less of what they don't want and more of what they do, which is rares, rares, rares. And so we're going to crack open this guy. There are certain... The contents of this pack are pretty loose. Uh, not very tightly sealed in there, but... Uh, oh, there we go. And uh, so, okay, first of all, uh, in these set boosters, Magic has a thing called the list. And there is a 25% chance of getting a list card in your pack. And there is a very easy way to tell if you got a list card. And it looks like we did. Because, okay, so if you open your pack and the very back card has this magic backing, you got a list card. Otherwise, uh, it's just a, uh, otherwise it's just going to be a token or an ad card or something. But we got a list card, so that's exciting. The list is like a little curated, as it says, list of 300 cards. And uh, that that is cycled every now and then some are cycled out new ones cycled in but they basically cover the entire history of magic you know, oh our art card was in there backwards that's kind of funky what is what is it uh, oh it's vorinclex the monstrous raider that is the that is the money card in the set uh but this is just the art cards so that's not uh that's not the that's not the money this is just a nice little piece of artwork yeah vorinclex monstrous raider uh, that, that would be a spicy hit if we found that somewhere in here, but, uh, okay, well, we got the art card of Vorinclex, that's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a tease, and we've got ourselves a snow land, this is a mountain forest, a highland forest, I got quite a few of these, actually. I really liked opening set boosters with Zendikar Rising, but with Kaldheim it's a little different, because, uh, most of them in the front tend to be the same color, like, I, we're about to hit a big run of whites here, I think. Uh, if, if this pack is like most of the ones I've opened so far and got your story seeker, your dwarf cleric with lifelink. Yeah. Here's another white card, uh, master scald. Uh, yep. And another white. Yeah. A lot of the commons, there's a, there's a run of commons and uncommons in the front of set boosters. And in Syndicar rising, they had a little more variety, but in Kaldheim, they all tend to be the same color. So you get kind of a color theme in a pack. Axe guard braggart bound in gold. Enchanted permanent can't attack, block, or crew vehicles, and its activated abilities can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. Dang, that is that's some lockdown for you. Uh, okay, here's a different color. We're finally seeing some finally seeing some not so pale cards in here. We got shackles of treachery. Uh, there are there are some there are some cards, some uh, uncommons and rares that are exclusive to the set boosters in this set. I don't know which ones those are. Here we go. We got a Shepherd of the Cosmos, an Angel Warrior. 3-3 three, three for 6 mana. Boy, you better do something good. Uh, when Shepherd of the Cosmos enters the battlefield, return target permanent card with converted mana cost 2 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Now it has Foretell, which lets you kind of split up the mana cost between turns. Although in this case, it looks like, well, well, and uh, kind of alters the color cost if you foretell it, but uh, that's a... Uh, Okay, all right, that's a that's a neat one. What do we got? Oh, we got Waking the Trolls. I have two foils of this already, and it's not not among the better sagas, but uh, I feel like we might be hitting a multi-rare pack here. Destroy Target Land. The sagas are always fun. Uh, they uh, they uh, the sagas have three little steps, and then they're discarded. They're a they're a fun time, and they made a lot of those in this set. So there's one rare for us at least. Ice High Troll. 
Gets plus two, plus zero, and gains indestructible until end of turn. I think we're going to hit it at least. No, that was it. That was the only rare in the pack. Raven Form is our guaranteed foil. It's a common. Well, what's our list card? This is a pretty this is a pretty weak pack, unless we get a really cool uh, list hit. Boggart Arsonists. Red plus two, a 2-1 two Goblin Rogue with Planeswalk. That means it can't be blocked if you're... Uh, can't be blocked if your opponent controls a planes. For one red and two other mana, sacrifice Boggart Arsonists. Destroy target Scarecrow or planes. What a weird card. Good lord. What is? What symbol is that right there? Uh, what set is that from? I have a hard time telling without the little initials that tell you what set it's from. I, I have a hard time telling just by symbols. I guess I'll look that up. But uh, overall, ugh, uh, not... Not the not the most wild pack you ever did see. Uh, they really teased us at the front with that uh, Vorinclex art card. That's uh, you know, if there had if there had been an actual Vorinclex in there, then uh, then that would have been uh, pretty wild. Uh, you know, I you know I hoped when I bought this pack that there would be a Vorinclex in it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's just that's just the cosmos screwing with me. Oh well, uh, not that great a pack, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I'll see you guys next time for more pack cracking shenanigans.